Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crab Lord back again. Today we're doing a simple little special effect you can do with your music to spice it up a bit. Give a little extra flair. A little something you can mess around with. You can like drop a beat off with it. You can pick it back up. Instead of having like a boring tutorial where I just basically tell you how to do it, I'm gonna write a song that teaches you how to do it as I show you how to do it in the background. So this is like a musical tutorial. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the notification button as well because I'll be dropping videos very frequently. frequently. Also check out all my links in the description if you want to know what equipment I use. If you want to see my preset packs, if you want to see my social media, or if you want to see my music, it's all down there. Go check it out. Anyway, this is how to do the record slow down or speed up special effect. Let's get in the video. So this is a musical tutorial. If you're lost during the song, at the end I'll do a quick walkthrough. It's a very simple tutorial, so I'm just gonna make it fun for you also. Yeah. Hello. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. So. You wanna learn how to do this trick, ayy You wanna learn how to do this trick, ayy Make your song sound hella sick, oh Now I'ma show you this healthy tip <laughs> But listen up, cause I got your back It's the young craft guy on full attack If you wanna slow down with the slow sound Here we go, here we go, here we go now So make sure you have a track laid down Hit the play button so you hear that sound Then cut the track at the place you want to hear the tempo go from 100 to no Top of the screen, little icon, little Christmas tree. Click that thing, then scroll to fade. Now, this is where the magic's made. Take a look where you cut the track. You gotta pull the fade tool from front to back. If you wanna make it short, maybe a little long. It's up to you, man, it's not my song. You just did made the track fade out. Now, step two is what it's all about. Right click on the fade in white space. Pick slow down, and that's all it takes. You got a few different options now. You can lift up or take it down It all depends on what you like Either way, man It's alright It's alright Well, if you enjoyed that video Make sure to like Make sure to subscribe all day and night I wanna get the 20k very soon If that quick little jingle didn't teach you anything, uh, let me just clarify it for you right now. So as you can see, we have a little track down here for me. Here's a little cursor. It shows you what tool you're using right now. So obviously I have the pointer as it shows. You click the little pointer, you have all these, but you have a fade tool. Click fade tool, and now wherever you wanna fade out is where you'd go to, and you drag it from here, or if you wanna speed it up from the back. We'll do a slow down effect, so watch. Oh. All right, so we're gonna drag it like this. Boom, that's a little white space was created. We'll bring it out a little bit, so watch. It'll, the volume goes down. Now if you wanna give it that slow down record effect, you're gonna right click it. All you gotta do is click slow down. Now it goes. Like you're just slowing the record down real quick, right? Now you can do a bunch of things with it. You can make it end quickly at the end by lifting it up. So it's thinner up top and then it quickly goes out. Or you can bring it down to give it a thickness. Bring it down to make it go out quickly. Or bring it up to make it a little slower. Or you can make it flat to make it constant. All depends on what you want. Or if you want to do the speed up, let me just screw around with this real quick. Same thing, you fade it in like that, right? Fade, and you bring it up from the front. And because it starts from the beginning of the vocal, it's speed up now, so it's like. This effect is really for like if you want to cut out, cut a beat out and go a cappella for a little bit and then pick it right back up without it just like straight up stopping real quick and then it's going back up. You can actually give it an effect to make it seem like the DJ is stopping the track. You want to have the speed up usually like a little angled. And the, the exit usually should be a little down. That's basically the effect. It's that easy. I know when I started, I, I really wanted to find out how to do that. And if you haven't already seen it, hopefully this taught you that. And um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something as well. Make sure to drop a like down below and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Still figuring out some how to sound likes to do. Don't forget to check out my description on the links down there. It's pretty dope. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been the Crab Lord. How to do a record slowdown effect to your delicious tracks in Logic Pro. And like always, we out.